Hi guys, um, so the new Affinity script is ready for testing, and I don't know why I just opened that. And uh, we're going to try it today. Ah, that's why I opened it. I'm going to just drag that there. We're going to delete this. That way it's technically a fresh install. Technically. And I'm going to take you guys and I'm going to move you also in there just like that so that way uh, when we hit refresh oh it's doing the thing again is it that's fine we it'll just it's an issue okay so we're gonna run this so it's gonna download the wine binaries it's gonna do the inflation great uh, where is the file there it is. So everything's being done in here like it should. Now I want to do a live video of this so you guys could see how this is supposed to work. So far so good. It's doing its thing at least. Normally, uh... I'd ask beforehand what you're trying to install, but there's kind of no need. It should ask later. I made it that way. It already has worked for one person. Uh, they're testing it right now on Fedora support. But at least that's something, right? Looks like it's installing some .NET type stuff. So this is currently wine tricks. That looks good. So what's it hanging at now? See, I hate that, that it has to set Windows XP for some stuff. That messes with things and I don't like that. But everything is going according to plan in here at least. That's all that matters. All right, good, it's continuing. That's something at least. I'll stop, come back when it's at the next step, okay? Okay, so here we are. Failed to set to Windows 11. Okay, there's um, a check, okay? That check will make sure if it's on Windows 11. So setting to Windows 11, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if that check fails, then it means it's already set most of the time. So that's fine. And there's a client error. So I'm going to install first one. And it's going to do its stuff. Then it's going to ask me to drag in my affinity installer. Invalid path. What is a valid path then? Interesting. Uh, would downloads be a valid path? Again, I'm still going to need to fix this stuff up. At least it goes back and it lets you try again. Invalid path. All right, so I updated the script to fix that weird issue. And hopefully now it lets us do what we need to do. Okay, so we're back here. Let's try this again. By the way, these are just debug logs and they shouldn't actually affect anything going on with Affinity, just to let you know. These logs are normal. Okay. And shouldn't really be a problem, seeing if they pop up again down here. So it's unpacking and doing everything. And... 
that's doing its thing it's done so it goes back it also lets you install designer ain't that cool drag and drop hit enter I believe this is a lot more efficient than rerunning the script to install just one thing, right? And there we go. That's done as well. Great. And if I need to, I can install Publisher as well. But for now, we're going to exit. Now that that's done, this button should work. Right, the menu didn't refresh. That's why it's not going to freaking work. Sometimes having a menu is the most annoying thing. Let's try that. Oh, Hyperlind. How you are so very, very special sometimes. Uh, where's dot .local? There you are. Share applications. So they're here. open with and where is run just wanna just wanna run the software yeah okay let's edit this so that is correct and the icon is correct that is also correct, but for some reason, again. Oh, it does work. Look at that. It does actually function. That's what I want to see. So for me to actually get it to work, I probably have to log in and out. Because this is not working. What about photo? Huh? Is photo going to work? No? Well, F you too. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to log in and out, and we're going to see if the actual desktop things work. All right, we're back. And as you can see, designer is currently missing an icon. That's messed up. So I want to go and fix that real quick because I don't like that. Uh, local share application does open with G edit local share icons. Let's go take a look at that. So local share icons. Yeah, it for some reason looks like it corrupted the icon. So I'm just going to change this to PNG. Save that. That's probably not going to actually work or do anything, but if I press it, it should open up, which it does. Great. That works. And this works as well. So there you go. But will it work one more time? Does good. I think for some reason managed to solve some discrepancies. Uh, I, I don't know if that's the word or not. Some issues where it would crash when starting up sometimes and also change this to PNG because again, I like my icon to be the round icon to match with the rest of my stuff. Oh, so there. That's that. All right, uh, you guys test it out. Let me know if it works for you. If you have any issues or any bugs, I'll do my best to fix them. And I'll see you guys next time.